Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's go over how to write the formula for ionic compounds that contain polyatomic ions. There's two pieces of information that will be helpful. A periodic table and then also a list of polyatomic ions. First, let's look at the periodic table. If you will notice that group 1A will have a plus 1 charge, group 2A will have a plus 2 charge. Transition metals, there's no set pattern, so we're going to skip over them for this video. Group 3A has a plus 3 charge. Group 4A, it can be either a positive 4 or a negative 4, so it's not used a lot, and I won't use uh, elements from that group. 5A has a negative 3 charge. 6A, negative 2. 7A has a negative 1 and the noble gases uh, have a zero charge. Up first, let's look at sodium nitrite. Okay, let's begin and figure out what the charge is for sodium. And it is in group one, so it will have a plus one charge. Now, nitrite is a polyatomic ion, and I'm going to look on my list, and it has a negative one charge. So you want a zero charge, so you have a plus one and a negative one, so it is zero. So it would just be written as sodium Na and the polyatomic ion nitrite, which is NO2. Next, we have calcium nitrate. Calcium is in group two, so it has a plus two charge. I'm going to look at my polyatomic ion list. And it tells me that nitrate has a negative one charge. So right now we do not have a zero charge. An easy way to figure that out is just to do a cross. I'm going to take the two from the calcium and cross it, move it over to nitrate. And the negative one from nitrate with calcium. So if you notice, that gives you a zero charge because you have negative two, excuse me, a positive two and a negative two. So it will be written Ca calcium, because you only have one of them, and then NO3 with parentheses, because that tells you that you need two of them. And so the two goes right outside. Let's take a look at aluminum sulfate. Aluminum is in group 3A, so it has a plus three charge. If you look on the list of polyatomic ions, sulfate has a two negative charge. They are not at zero charge, so we will cross. Three goes with sulfate. The two will go with aluminum. So that gives you Al2 in parentheses, SO4, and then a three on the outside, which tells you that you need three of them. Now we have strontium phosphate. Strontium is in group two, so it has a plus two charge. Phosphate, if you look on the list of polyatomic ions, it has a negative three charge. We are not at zero, so we will cross. So the two goes with phosphate, the three goes with strontium. So now we will write it uh, SR3, telling you that you have three strontiums, and then phosphate, PO4, uh, and in parentheses, and it will be a two on the outside of that, telling you you have two of those. 